hello my lovely angels how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always today we are going to see what is lord shiva's message for you we're going to use various tools your tarot cards oracle cards charms numbers and everything in detail even runes as well so you have got this three as your first option option number one is this beautiful trishul along with this card all right option number two is moon along with this card and option number three is rudraksha along with this card So you can select any option that you are drawn towards. In case if you're confused as to which option you should select, you can take three pieces of paper, write one, two, and three in each piece of paper, one number only. Just close your eyes and say, dear God, Lord Shiva, what message you have for me? And then open any one piece of paper, whatever number comes, that's going to be your pile. All right, so let's get started without any delay. Many of you ask in the comment section what decks am I using so for this reading I am using this four decks along with you can take a screenshot of this along with this decks okay all right hello group one how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and rocking as always today we are going to see what message lord shiva has for you so this was one of the readings requested by uh, a follower and i thought let me take up this topic as it's such an interesting topic so you have chosen this beautiful trishul and this card okay so with this Trishul, when I'm holding, I feel that you connect with Lord Shiva for protection or you have been praying for protection and shielding. And Lord Shiva is protecting and shielding you right now. I'm also getting a feeling that you are someone who is kind of uh, let go of toxicity from your life by walking away or by taking steps to get this toxicity out of your life. Okay, let me keep it over here. Uh, you got the card Mahadev Shiva, God of Destruction. So when I'm holding this card, I feel that as it rightly says, God of Destruction, you have been really trying to let go of old patterns, patterns which are not serving you as well. At the same time, when I look behind the card, it talks about a uh, union with a good marriage partner, sexual prow prowess, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Detachment from life's unexpected changes, numerous benefits from worldly enjoyment to liberation. Which means this card is, uh, this particular card is talking about uh, having a balance, okay, wherein you are enjoying the material desires as well as you are equally spiritually awakened, wherein you know what you need to uh, understand what patterns you need to let go how you can reach uh, the epitome of your awakening all right let me keep this card aside now let's see what your tarot cards are talking about a message from lord shiva I can see a lot of flowers being offered to Lord Shiva. Okay, let's keep this aside. The first card that you have got is the Four of Swords. Here Lord Shiva is telling you that it's high time you rest it out. You have been really running behind uh, and trying to get everything in order however in this whole chaos you have not taken rest 
and you, you're not even focusing on your sleep patterns lord shiva wants to tell you it is time to balance things out to rest and rejuvenate to correct your sleep patterns as well also it looks like you have been through a particular trauma and right now you are in the process of healing so lord shiva is saying the trauma that you underwent is not small please don't write it off and try to be strong when you're feeling weak all right the next card that you have got is judgment okay so lord shiva is saying that after this rest and rejuvenation you will have this awakening all right wherein you are going to forgive uh, you're going to reach out to more people lord shiva is also telling that you once this healing happens you're going to review your life you're going to kind of look at what lessons you could have learned better this rough journey that you are going to embark on and this journey is going within understanding what needs to be corrected and what needs to be changed and what needs to be accepted as well also lord shiva is asking you to reach out to more people you have been trying to limit your uh, self because somewhere you are not confident to reach out to more people is telling you to break that pattern something that you have done for your ancestors ha is getting acknowledged by lord shiva and your ancestors are blessing you as well the third message that lord shiva is telling you is to let go of this constant fear and anxiety that what if the past repeats itself lord shiva is telling you that you know your past lessons that you had undergone uh, you have learned it and they are over all right so there is no need to fear those lessons getting repeated i'm also hearing the word detachment so someone lord shiva is telling you that don't get too attached to a situation uh, unnecessarily okay look at look at it from an from a different perspective let's see what your other cards are going to tell us i have already removed your cards before that let's also see your runes hold on let me remove your runes okay so you have got this beautiful rune can you see this can you see this rune okay this is a rune which talks about how situations okay is kind of not going the way you expected it to go all right this is this rune is called now these all right it talks about you feeling constrained and you feel this re resistance all right there is this delay happening uh, this conflict that is taking place however you will overcome this delay and conflict do not worry all right let me keep your rune over here now let's see what your other uh, other cards are going to tell us so i am coming up with a new workshop which is i am miracle workshop to know more details about this awesome workshop click on the link given in the pin comment and let's continue with lord shiva's message the first card that you have got is teacher all right so definitely either you are in a profession of teaching and learning at the same time i also feel that you look up to lord shiva as a teacher as well and uh, lord shiva is guiding you and he is telling you that you will learn the lessons of your life do not worry and there is no need for you to kind of uh, unnecessarily uh, keep on uh repeating to yourself that oh my god i am not learning what i am supposed to learn or or i i do not do not have enough knowledge that's something which you need to understand all right they got this particular card of bail patra which means that uh, you have offered bail patra to lord shiva and he has accepted it 
also this particular card is telling you that uh, you have uh, that your mind and body and soul is going to feel so calm there is going to be a lot of clear cleansing happening your wishes are going to get fulfilled as well all right in case you want to know more which decks i have used the link is in the uh, near the timestamp you can just have a look at it the next message that you're getting from lord shiva is deception it looks like someone has deceived you and uh, this deception has been so heartbreaking for you you did not expect it to come from this particular person whom you kind of trusted however lord shiva is telling you that this particular deception is for you to know what to do ahead all right so rather than getting angry about it it's kind of letting go of people who were never uh, there for your growth all right you got over your 12 jyoti linga which means that the, the you know you have i think you have offered something to uh, uh to lord shiva and you're getting the blessings of all the 12 jyoti lingas all right and this blessing is going to help you to get all the work which is stuck you know it will get that work done all right wow so beautiful lord shiva is telling you that you need to surrender negative thinking which is also replicated in this card see negative thinking does not help in any way there are many people who ask so what's the point of positive thinking well at least positive thinking does not lead to health issues right or be neutral if you can't be positive all right so this is what this card is telling us let's see more of your cards the next card that you have got is Dhanvantari, which is God of Medicine. Again, this resonates with the Four of Swords. If you have been worried, worried, if you are worried about some sort of medical issue or health issue, then this is kind of an assurance from Lord Shiva that uh, that the divine is healing you. Of course, you need to go to the right doctor. You need to take proper medication, proper therapy. This reading is not meant to replace any uh, doctor's advice, doctor's medicine or any kind of professional consultation. Okay. So uh, Lord Dhanvantari is telling you that your health is going to improve. All right. Also, if you are in a medical field, uh, Lord Dhanvantari is guiding you as per the instructions of Lord Shiva. All right. Let me keep your card over here. Let's see what Lord Ganesha is telling you. Lord Ganesha is talking about a revelation. So, you know, in a, over here, there's a deception card, right? So, Lord uh, Ganesha is telling you that whatever deception you have been facing, you you will get to know why it happened, uh, how the other person has faced the karmas i know many people are not interested in knowing that which is good all right but at times for a few people who want to know uh just because they want closure see understand one thing just because somebody else is suffering doesn't make things all right for us uh, or if somebody makes you suffer and then they suffer it's like two people suffering right so at the end it doesn't really help but you will get a lot of understanding that why you went through a particular pattern in life also if somebody is trying to deceive you there will be uh, knowledge about it which will kind of help you to remain uh, away from that energy the next card that you have got is kali mahamaya so over here this card is telling you that goddess lord shiva via this card is telling you that goddess kali is asking you to be authentic which you are and because of your authenticity you are going to know a lot of things which were not in your favor or uh, the tricks and uh, tricks that other people were playing playing towards you you come to know all of that also uh, you know uh, uh, this particular card is telling uh, you that a lot of the grace of goddess kali is kind of going to help you 
to not only heal, not only grow, but also to break patterns, all right, which you have been constantly facing for some reason or the other. Now, let's see the blessings coming your way from Lord Shiva. Blessing one, blessing two, and blessing three. Okay, let's see them one by one. The first blessing that you have received is a blessing for a fresh start. So definitely there are going to be a lot of new beginnings happening in your life. You got blessing to find your way. So all the confusion is going to go away, especially because you have got the revelation card. So a lot of things are going to get revealed, which will kind of help you to find your way. The next blessing is a blessing from your ancestors. Wow, I did tell you while removing your tarot cards that your ancestors are blessing you. So isn't that amazing that all the cards are in sync? Now let's see what your charms are going to tell us. Okay, let me keep all your cards aside. Let's pick up words. Let's pick a few alphabets. Oh, yeah, but three. Let's pick up a number and then let's pick up some charms. Okay, now let's see all of this one by one. You have one sofa, which again is in sync with the card, tarot card that you got of four of swords, which means rest and rest and heal. The next you have got over here is wherein two people are shaking hands. So there will be a deal, a contract happening. I also feel Lord Shiva is with you, trying to make things happen for you. You got over your home. So all those of you who were praying for a home, that home is going to happen. And it's a blessing from your ancestors. You got the angel number 45, which means lot of uh, angels love you. Angels are called Devdoots in Hinduism. All right, uh, Farishtas in, um, a Muslim and angels in Christianity all right so definitely millions of angels are with you and they are going to bring in a positive change in your life you got the alphabets a a blank and T okay so it could be pat that is pat on your back from Lord Shiva for all the good work that you are doing you got over here the word show cells okay strong and flowers so definitely have offered flowers to lord shiva and the divine and they are accepting it so they're all telling you that showcase your talent all right if you want to have more income or when you showcase your talent you're going to be able to achieve the income that you have been praying for and you're going to really become more uh, stronger with increase in confidence by showcasing your skills is what I'm getting. Now let's see what your Wheel of Fortune is going to tell us. So think about a question for Lord Shiva and let me spin the wheel for you. You have got a maybe. Now let's understand why is it a maybe? Why is it not a yes or a no? I feel it has got to do with confidence. Oh, you have got a maybe because somewhere you have not prayed enough. All right. So you need to pray enough. You need to go within. You need to follow certain traditional methods as well to make it happen. All right, group one. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you're guided. Almost 50% of people who view this channel have not yet subscribed to it. So do subscribe if you're guided. And yes, uh, I am coming up with I Am Miracle Workshop. To know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants' experiences, click on the link given in the pinned comment. Take care. Bye-bye.
Hello group 2, how are you guys doing? I hope you are fine and rocking as always. You have chosen this beautiful moon and this card. So clearly you are someone who is very creative. You have a very balanced masculine and feminine side to you. You got the card of Ardha Nareshwar, alright? Which means that uh, there will be felicity in married life. Your Kundalini, Kundalini energy is going to get raised. A lot of knowledge of universal oneness, ability to harmonize uh, forces together, alright? So I also feel that you are going to amalgamate uh, two things or maybe more things and create something amazing. With this moon, definitely a lot of creative energy. I also feel fertility. Uh, you, some of you are trying for a child is what I'm understanding or some of you are trying for some sort of new project. So I see blessings from Lord Shiva to you regarding the same. All right, let me keep your props aside. Now let's see what message you are getting from Lord Shiva. Okay. All right. Message from Lord Shiva. Okay. Let's see them one by one. The first message that you have got is three of swords. So you have faced a really huge loss in your life. And this loss has been kind of affecting you at a very deeper level. There is trauma which you are trying to heal from but kind of not able to. Lord Shiva is telling you that he will heal your heart. Just connect with him and pray to him and he will do the rest of what needs to be done. The second card that you have got is Knight of Pentacles. So I also feel that this trauma that you you have undergone, there's a lot of slow healing, slow but steady healing. So Lord Shiva wants to tell you that slow and steady definitely is is kind of testing your patience. But don't worry, there is progress. You're also getting advised uh, to kind of you know uh, do not be too controlling and too much of perfectionist at times it's important to be flexible also there is a young person who is going to kind of sort things for you who is going to help you as well the third card that you have got is king of cups wow so two court cards which means lord shiva is going to send you the right people for support you got over here king of cups that means lord shiva is telling you to process your emotions wisely respond and do not react it's important to be calm and meditate as well some of you have been chanting his name and he is blessing you uh, and you are kind of connecting with his energy i'm hearing the word uh, I'm hearing the sound ohm. Some of you are listening to the sound ohm or you're chanting ohm. Nevertheless, that is helping you. All right. Now, let's see what your other cards are going to tell us. Uh, but before that, let's see your rune. You have got the rune Fehu. Okay. So definitely a lot of prosperity coming your way. Lot of things moving for the betterment. There is progress. There is success as well. I feel that some of you pray to Swarna Akarshan Bhairav uh, as well. Now let's see. I have removed your remaining cards. Let's see them one by one. So I am conducting I Am Miracle Workshop and it is one of our most loved workshops. This workshop is uh, live on Zoom and to know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants' experiences, you can click on the link in the pinned comment. Let's go ahead now with your reading. You got taking steps. So, the, so you need to take baby steps with regards to where you want to reach, whatever your dreams are. This card is also telling you that where you want to reach, you, you're already on your way there. Just take baby steps and things will start moving. 
you got over here goddess lakshmi again this quite resonates with your rune which is fehu there are a lot of abundance coming your way you also pray to goddess lakshmi so you're getting her blessings as well goddess lakshmi is blessing with you with uh, an improved social status lot of wealth and luxuries you're going to receive advancement in your career as well and definitely it also talks about a good marriage all right so this is so beautiful i am getting a feeling that you do pray to goddess lakshmi especially her form of gaji lakshmi is what i'm getting let's see your next card you have got new beginnings so while uh, when i was removing your cards initially i did say that some of you are really praying for new beginnings and uh, or a child and that's going to happen as well definitely uh, the one so actually will be are not looking at children for god's sake so there is going to be a new creative venture that you are going to start and this new creative venture this new beginning is going to usher in the positive energy that you have been seeking you got over here mahadev and uh, this particular card is telling you that lord shiva is present with you there is going to be lot of blessing coming your way there is going to be success in your married life now interestingly you have this has come twice you got over your good and faithful marriage partner and over your you got success in marriage life and overall development which i think both this cards are saying the same thing so again a confirmation over here let's see what your next card is going to tell us you have got over here surrender to trust now when i was saying all of this some of you were like i don't know sheetal we have been facing this this trauma since such a long time i don't know whether things will improve or they won't improve well you need to trust okay you need to trust that lord shiva is going to help you out he's going to sort things out you need to take action as well and everything will eventually fall into place let's see what your next card is telling us you got the earth of kali okay so uh why god is kali lord shiva is telling you that you are going to truly understand the meaning of life meaning of things around you whatever was kind of um, unclear will eventually become clearer leading to more clarity and the action that you need to take because if you see th this particular bow and arrow over here you you can shoot an arrow only if you know what is your goal right so and you will come to know what's your goal when you get clarity and that's what you're going to receive the next card that you have got courage so for this new beginning that you are going to receive you need a lot of courage and strength and lord uh, ganesha is helping you to get this courage so lord shiva has sent lord ganesha and goddess lakshmi um to help you to kind of achieve this courage this wealth this luxury this new beginning as well all right now let's see what blessing is going to come your way blessing 1 blessing 2 and let's take this blessing 3 the first blessing coming your way is a blessing of the waters so the blessing of waters represents emotional blessing so blessing of water also represents fluidity so if there has been obstacles in your path this particular card tells you that there is going to be this movement the stuck energy is going to go away all right the next blessing coming your way is mao the blessing of the earth so again with the goddess lakshmi card this is not surprising a blessing of the earth means blessing of all the material aspects now interestingly you got blessing of water with the king of cups all right and um, you have also got the blessing of earth which is represented by the knight of pentacles because pentacles is an earth element and cup is a water element 
so there will be a lot of material growth happening which is which has been confirmed by your rune fehu and goddess lakshmi as well earth also represents fertility so if you have been uh, praying for fertility that's also showcased by this card the next blessing you have got is a blessing to heal relationship so if you have been facing issues with relations harmony lord shiva is going to bless you with lot of divine energy to heal those relationships so that you can move ahead happily wow this is so beautiful isn't it now let's see what your uh, other tools are going to tell us okay let's see first what words you have got let's see certain alphabet let's see the angel number and let's pick up some charms okay let's see all of this one by one you have got a pyramid over here a triangle so definitely a lot of growth happening you have got the charm of a summer shirt and there is goa written as well some of you are going to travel near a beach or a water body and that's going to help you with lot of blessings okay because water also heals right the words that you have got is friendship is not a big thing it's a million little things so you're going to travel with few friends it seems walking so you're going to walk away from things which are not going not serving you also some of you will kind of start walking to become more fit you got best so all the best that you deserve you are going to receive believe in it the angel number that you have got is 64 so millions of angels okay uh, now angels are known as devdoot in hinduism so a lot of devdoot have been sent to help you with your material and spiritual aspects all right so devdoot are called angels in uh, christianity uh they are also called as farishta in muslim okay So these are the alphabets that you have got D double E I E. I can see ice over here, sort of ice that is sort of stuck energy is going to start moving. You've got over here flower, all right, which is smiling. So a lot of beautiful, fragrant, fresh energy coming your way. You got over here a star. Wow. So a lot of fame recognition coming your way as well. Okay, a lot of appreciation coming your way. You got pencil over here, which means that you you are. I feel that you have been writing something. Okay, either journaling or you are writing some mantras. So what you are doing is it's helping you in the long run. In fact, I teach how to recreate um, the your blueprint in my I Miracle workshop. You can just click on the link in the pin comment. Now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. So think about a question group two, and let me spin the wheel for you. All right, you have got a no. Let's understand why is it a no. So if you're looking for a no, then you then it's all right. But if you're not looking for a no, let's understand why is it a no. Okay. it is a no because you need to pay attention to your body you need to learn more you need to work on your skills some way you're not doing that okay so that's the problem you need to upgrade your skills you need to uh, work on yourself as well and work on your mindset at the same time and then it will become a yes 
all right group two i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you are guided and i am conducting i am miracle workshop if you want to be a part of this amazing workshop you can click on the link in the pinned comment i have know about the earlier participants experiences as well and i am there on instagram where we are a family of 29000 people you can follow me over there as well all right take care of yourself bye bye hello group 3 how are you guys doing i hope you are fine and rocking as always so today we are going to see what message lord shiva has for you you have chosen this beautiful rudraksha and this beautiful natraj so definitely i feel that there is going to be this entire energy coming into your life from because of the grace of lord shiva and this sudden energy energetic flow is going to clear away a lot of stuck energy is what i am getting so let's see what your card is telling us it's saying fearlessness, joy of creativity, perfection of music and dance, finding pleasure in all circumstances of life. So definitely all of this energetic movement is going to kind of bring it, bring you forward. All right, let me keep your card aside and your beautiful Rudraksha aside. So a lot of, you know, grace divine grace is what i feel you're going to receive now let's see lord shiva's message in detail i feel that someone has kind of cheated you and this betrayal is kind of driving you nuts but somehow there is this faith in the divine that everything will take being taken care of that's your cut oh wow this is what you know i my god i was just talking about a message that i got and you got the card of justice so lord shiva is telling you do not worry the universe has its own way of bringing everything to justice whatever injustice has been done to you will be taken care of there is no need for you to burn your energy into why this happened to me and all don't worry the universe lord shiva is taking care of it justice will be done to you also this card is telling you to maintain balance in your life there is too much of imbalance happening you need to balance things out okay you're also a giver so don't worry whatever you're given will come back to you multiplied by the grace of lord shiva all right you have got stars so definitely you will get recognition for the work that you are done even if somebody has tried to copy your work don't worry if you are the original creator by the grace of lord shiva you will receive appreciation for it also a lot of recognition coming your way lot of um, hope as well lord shiva is asking you to keep your hope do not let go of hope there is there is a lot of magic that is going to enter your life also lord shiva is telling you that um, when i look at this card there's two are major arcana cards clearly these cards are suggesting that you are going to shine because of all the good karmas that you have done in the past okay and you are a star the next card that you have got is queen of pentacles so a lot of abundance coming your way i also see the grace of goddess lakshmi on you goddess fortune on you so definitely a lot of abundance coming your way i feel group three if you were confused between group two and group three see group two as well a lot of abundance coming your way you are somebody who takes care of family and works so beautifully you're always taking care of others you're nurturing others as well and lot of blessings lot and lot of blessings are going to come your way now let's see what rune you have got you have got the rune pair through okay which means a lot of hidden secrets you okay, okay can you see this rune mm -hmm. why is it not okay okay so this is petro 
which means lot of changes going to take place the information that were hidden for from you will come to uh, come to you know come to your awareness a lot of secrets are going to get revealed as well or a lot of creation as well because you got you had chosen nataraj so the one of the meaning of this rune is also creative energy all right now let's see what your other cards are going to tell us i have already removed them let's see them one by one okay wow ascended master so definitely along with lord shiva you have the blessings of the god goddess and ascended masters as well you got four hands all of them are blessing blessing of peace blessing of creativity blessing of abundance and blessing of clairvoyance all these blessings are coming your way that's so beautiful surrender to passion so here the cards uh, lord shiva is advising you that you you have this passion in you you are very passionate about work and about life in general however recently the passion has been kind of lowered down because of various reasons rekindle that passion again and see how things just move ahead for you all right oh you've got bhasma over here and natraj wow this is beautiful you have chosen natraj and uh, you got natraj in the other oracle card as well so definitely lot of creative energy guys okay creative idea success and creativity arts and music therapy confidence and better performance and here you have got uh, everything in the world is temporary what comes around goes around so with the justice card that's not surprising all right so forgive the one so okay there is this train horn all right so for me i feel you know the horn is basically that the train has arrived and it's leaving so definitely you are going to have this movement of growth coming in your life all right let me keep your cards over here that's your next card you have got letting go so let go of this resentment that you're holding people are silly and immature they do not know what they are doing remember one thing when you're copying someone's work there is a huge karma getting created and sooner or later the price has to be paid and the price has to be paid where it hurts the most and this is the year 2024 which is the year of saturn all right and saturn always makes you pay for the karma so don't worry whoever has done this to you is definitely going to receive the karma okay you got over here lord kapila and chaitanya mahaprabhu all right so here both of these cards are telling you that a lot of knowledge coming your way you deal with knowledge in some way or the other uh, there is this power of discrimination this understanding liberation uh, this knowledge coming your way uh, by the grace of lord shiva and also that that this this entire knowledge will also be kind of accentuated because of your compassionate nature because of the way you love people around you uh, the way you always are focused on being of service all right so that's what this cards are telling you let me keep it over here let's your next card child like expression wow so bring that playfulness back into your life you become so serious about everything i also feel bal ganesha is with you you have been praying uh, to bal ganesha i also feel that some of you would really desire to have a child so that's what i'm getting with this card as well there's a lot of creative force with you all right so make the most of it let's see your next card you have got kali kalmasa nashini so again this means all the darkness in you and your life is going to be destroyed by goddess kali 
with the grace of Lord Shiva. I strongly feel Kal Bhairava is with you. So definitely you are protected, you are shielded. Do not worry at all. Let's see what blessings are going to come your way. Before I remove the, your blessings, I have an upcoming I Am Miracle workshop. In case if you want to know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants' experiences, click on the link in the pinned comment. Let's see the blessings coming your way. Blessing number one, blessing number two, and blessing number three from Lord Shiva. A blessing of the air, which means there will be paperwork happening, communication happening, an important message you're going to receive, which is going to help you in order to go ahead in life. The next blessing coming your way is a blessing on your day. So the important day that you are going to have, which is going to come up, a lot of blessings are going to come your way, making you feel so blessed and fulfilled. The next blessing coming your way is a blessing for support. So if you have been feeling unsupported, if you have been kind of feeling that, um, you are all alone there will be a lot of support coming your way which will help you to move forward and this support is given to you by lord shiva somewhere you feel that divine guidance that divine help was a lot before and somehow it's a little less now do not worry you will get all the support that you need all right let's see what your other divination tools are going to tell us group three this reading was requested by a subscriber and I thought, wow, sounds interesting. Let's remove some words. Some alphabets. An angel number Some. Okay, this. Okay, let's see all of this one by one you got the angel wings so definitely you believe in angels you have a strong connect with them you got a pussycat with a coin, sort of prosperity coming your way. You got one. So somehow, you know, uh, you are a very ambitious person and you believe in being goal-oriented and very perfectionist. So I, with this particular number, I feel that somehow you feel that things were not moving ahead for you in career and finances. They're suddenly going to move. You got over here an aeroplane. So it means a sort lot of travel happening, a lot of movement happening in life. You got this nest with beautiful eggs in it. So this means that, uh, you know, for some it would mean a child or an addition in the family. For some, it could be home. This is a blessing coming your way. So the blessing coming your way is a beautiful home, addition in the family, harmony in the family as well. Can you see this charm? It is so beautiful. All right. Then you have got this camera. Now this particular camera means either you are from the entertainment industry since you've got the Natraj or you are a content creator or an influencer. This is telling you that you're definitely going to go ahead no matter what. Don't worry. you got quietly bus. So your bus is going to come quietly. The bus that you have been waiting for, the opportunity that you have been waiting for will come quietly and um, you're going to play it really well. Do not miss it. The angel number that you've got is 51. So positive change is coming. Keep your thoughts positive. You got 21 over here, so that's not surprising. Now let's see what um alpha what alphabets you have got. You got L U Y. L this could be a first name, middle name, last name, or a word that requires your attention. So you have got L U Y L double N. Alright, so see how it it is connecting with you. 
Now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. So group three, think about a question for Lord Shiva and let me spin this wheel for you. So it went to miracle and it kept, went back to weight. So the reason it's a weight is, let's see why. Why is there a weight? I feel management, I've heard the word management. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. So uh, the reason there is a weight because the divine has taken the, uh, whatever you prayed for, whatever you asked for is, at the is in the initial stage, okay? Wherein the divine is preparing this blessing for you. And since it's preparing this blessing for you, there is a weight. It's not a no, the blessing will come your way. It's just that the divine is preparing it for you you all right group three i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if it did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you're guided and uh, yes the i miracle workshop is going to be conducted soon live this is a live workshop to know more details about this workshop the earlier participants experiences click on the link given the pinned comment all right take care bye bye